Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress in the San Francisco Bay Area and uh, I wanted to share you with you guys today something I got for Christmas because it is something that I'm kind of like, why didn't I get this before? Because it's not even that expensive. Um, I put it on my wish list and I'll have the link in the description for you guys. But I used to carry my things in, <laughs> let me show you guys. I used to carry my wardrobe like this in this uh, Trader Joe's bag. So what I would do is hang them up because of course when you bring clothing to set, it's easiest if you're just able to go, look, look, instead of having it folded and being like, these are my options. Um, but if you're an actor and you've been an extra a lot or just in the Bay Area, I feel like even if you're not an extra, even if you're the hero of the commercial or something, you still most of the time get asked to bring your own clothing because it's really difficult to for the stylist to know what's going to fit well with your body blah blah, blah 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 so if you bring your own clothing they already know hey this must fit well because they it's theirs and they use it um so what i would usually do with my clothing is put it on hangers and then kind of like fold it within themselves and then with jeans you know it can get complicated and this is one of the reasons why i always make sure that uh, my clothing does can't wrinkle that easily when i buy it and then i would put it in here and then for my shoes i'll put them in a plastic bag you know, like from Walmart or Target or whatever, and then throw it in here. So when I had arrived, like I've had my makeup in here and it's just not the most um, convenient or professional looking. And then I'd be like, hold on. Um, okay, oh, that's falling, you know, and then have to like dig the shoes out of the plastic bag or whatever. So I wanna show this little garment bag that I got for Christmas because I think it'll make all of our lives easier and it's really cheap. It has a hole at the top so you can put all your hangers up there. And something that I see a lot of people do, I might make a video about like what to bring to set when they ask you to bring clothing to set. Cause sometimes people bring a lot of stuff, like a whole suitcase. And at least in my experience, yeah, I definitely need to make a video about this, but at least in my experience, whatever I wear, I don't know if it's just me making good decisions, but when whatever I wear to set, they usually like. So usually they're like, oh, I like that first look that you have on. And sometimes it's just me wearing clothing that I find comfortable. You know, if you're just gonna be an extra and even if they ask you for like six changes, you can get really creative. With each hang hanger you can put, you know, one look and then be able to use that blouse with that sweater and then switch it up with those pants, whatever. You can get creative with it and you'll get better as the time goes on and they ask you for different things. But the, pop, the good thing about this is that you can just put your hangers through the garment bag really easily. And then this has a hole right here so that you can see the clothing color. And if a bunch of people have this for some reason on set, you can be like, oh, that looks like mine. Or you can put a little sticker with your name and phone number in case you forget this on set. But it has a zipper and this is full length. Again, I'll put the description, the link in the description so you guys can go check it out. This is like a full length uh, wardrobe bag. And then at the bottom, it has two slots for shoes. And I love this because it's so unsanitary. I always see people just putting all their clothing in a bag with their shoes. And it's like your shoes walk on the floor. There's poop on the floor and just a lot of gross things, right? The same reason why I don't wear shoes in the house. Anyways, um... So yeah, it has two sections for garment bags. So again, you're gonna be wearing a pair of shoes and then you can bring two more pairs of shoes. Like what more do they want from you? You know, if you're doing like a crazy photo shoot and you're bringing a bunch of heels, like, okay, that's a different story. You need a lot more things. But if you're just an extra, they tell you to bring a clothing to set, like three pairs of shoes should be enough. Uh, so this is really cool and also if you're like okay three pairs of shoes is way too much for me then you can choose one of these uh, bags to be for accessories if you wanted to because this doesn't have like a separate bag for accessories which I don't think you should be putting in this kind of um, thing anyway really because it can get crushed well it just depends on your accessories like for me I have glasses and I have um, jewelry that I wouldn't necessarily want to be thrown in here um, but yeah it's mesh down here so you can put your shoes two sections for shoes and then that's the garment bag and you're gonna look so professional going on to set being like yeah these are my options oh sorry open <laughs> once you you know pack your little garment bag up it has handles so that you can what's this hole for hmm oh is it the hole is that what the hole is for 
Don't tell my old boss I didn't know that because I used to work at a costume shop for a long time and we used garment bags, but not that often. But um, is that what this hole is for to like, I don't know, maybe? It has these little handles that will help you carry it. And um, of course, this isn't like absolutely necessary, but I definitely suggest you buy it if you're an actor. If you have like a day job or whatever and you're gonna go to an audition and you need to wear something different than your day job or you just need to like, you know, transport some clothing, it would be good to have one of these because you can just hook it up in your car and like save it for after work or you can bring it into your office and just, you know, have it nice and organized and I really recommend this. I think this is an actor essential. I'll put the, the link in the description of the exact one that I have. If you want to see more acting videos, um, I'll put some up here in a second that you can click on about auditions and how to find auditions, what casting sites to use, um, how to be an extra on 13 Reasons Why. They're almost done filming if you're watching this right after I uploaded it. Uh, they're gonna be done filming season three in the Bay Area, uh, I believe in February. That's the, the last like bit of information I got to so have a video on how to be an extra on that. Um, don't ask me how to get a speaking role because I'm currently trying to investigate that as well. Um, or do ask me comment something like this video subscribe to my channel I'd appreciate it I'm almost at 500 subscribers and uh, I just put that little goal for myself by uh, January 1st of 2019 because um, I just felt like it I felt like it would be good to have a goal to look forward to because I'm a full-time actress right now and um, I have a lot of free time and I thought having a goal would be good just like I have a lot of goals but that's just one of them that kind of keeps me entertained instead of just watching TV all day I can edit videos for hours and anyways um, this outro is really long I hope you guys have a great day bye